What's up everyone? If you got the brand new Galaxy S25 Ultra, then this video is packed with tips to take your customization game to the next level. Today we're diving deep into Good Lock Home Up module, showing you how to unlock powerful hidden features, boost productivity, and make your phone truly yours. So whether you're after a performance tweak or aesthetic upgrades, I've got something for everyone. So let's jump right in. And hey, if you love your Samsung tricks like these, smash that like button and consider subscribing so you never miss a thing. So let's begin. So before we start, you wanna first go ahead and search for the Galaxy Store. And in the Galaxy Store, you're looking for an app called Good Lock. So this is the app which we're gonna use throughout the whole video. So make sure you install this, go ahead and open this. And within the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and find the Home Up app. Make sure this module has been installed on your phone. So tip number one is how to turn on, okay. So tip number one is your DIY home screen for your Samsung S25 Ultra. So in the Samsung S25 Ultra, you can use the home app module in the Good Lock app, and you can turn on DIY home screen. So if you wanna have total control over how your home screen looks and behaves, then with DIY home screen option in the home app module, you can completely revamp your layout. So you can customize grid size, remove labels, and declutter your interface. So it's giving you a cleaner and more personal experience. So let me show you how to do this. So first you're gonna go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. From here, you wanna go ahead and find the Home Up module, which looks like that. Now make sure to turn this feature on, then go ahead and tap on Home Screen and find DIY Home Screen, turn this feature on. Now press home, and now you wanna go ahead and long press on your home screen, then tap on DIY home. And go ahead and find a home screen where you want to customize. So for example, this one here, we'll go ahead and tap on the plus sign here at the bottom. And here you can go ahead and add emojis, your avatars, photos or stickers. You can even add shapes and different arrows and so on. With regards to icon, you can go ahead and place it anywhere you like on the screen. You can even rotate it or increase the size of these icons. So you can say goodbye to clutter and hello to a home screen that actually works the way you want it to work. Tip number two is to get your pop-up folders. On your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can get pop-up folders, which are a game changer. So instead of opening an entire folder in full screen, a small pop-up will come up like this. So it's like a small sleek pop-up which appears so it lets you access apps without disrupting your workflow. So you can just go ahead and tap on that folder and you can just go ahead and start using that folder. You can even go ahead and customize this folder so you can get, get it to appear in the center here or the bottom here. So let me show you how to do this. So first you wanna go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, you're looking for the Home Up module. Now from here, you wanna go ahead and tap on Home Screen scroll down and find pop-up folder. Switch this feature on, tap on this, and here you can go ahead and customize it how you want your pop-up folder. You want a small, medium, large. So if you choose small, so this is how it looks like. If you choose large, this is how it looks like. So you can even turn on variable size so the pop-up size adjusts the number of items. You can even hide the edit bar, so you don't even have that edit bar, so it looks more sleek. So it's faster, it's less distracting, and feels like something out of a futuristic UI. Tip number three is to change your folder size to have more icons. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, if you're tired of cramming just a few icons in a folder, then this setting will let you increase the folder grid so you can fit more apps into fewer folders, perfect for organizing games, tools, or work apps efficiently. So let me show you how to do this. So first we'll go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Within the Good Lock app, we are opening up the Home Up module. Tap on Home Screen. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find the folder section here. So here the folder screen grid is four by four. You can go ahead and increase it to seven by seven. And when you open a folder, you'll see that more apps can fit in that folder. So the icons have gone a bit smaller. If you want your apps a bit more bigger and you want to fit less apps on it, you can go ahead and change the folder screen grid to three by three. You can even turn on this feature called large folder. So this will give you a larger folder as well. So this gives you a cleaner home screen with fewer swipes and everything is just where you need it. Tip number four is to change your app switcher. 
So this is one of the coolest tweaks on your Samsung S25 Ultra. The task changer gives you completely new styles for your app switcher. So it gives you like a grid layout, stack card, or if you like a minimalistic look, you can even have like a list view. So let me show you how to do this. So first we'll go ahead and open up the GoodLock app. Now within GoodLock app, you're opening up the Home Up module. Here, go ahead and tap on Task Changer, switch this feature on, and now you can go ahead and choose from all these four available choices. So you have a tilt stack, which looks like that, which is the normal standard one. Next, you have the grid view, where you have all in grids. Next, you have the vertical list, so it goes in a vertical list. And lastly, you have the slim list, so it goes in a list format. Now with the now with the vertical list, you can even turn on the circular list. So the vertical list type changes to a circular type. So it goes more like a, a semicircle. As you can see, it's going like this. If I turn it off, you'll see that it goes straight up and down. Now, if you have a lot of apps open on your app switcher, you can even turn on the search bar. So you can go ahead and search for the app, what are you looking for? So if you tap search and you're searching for maybe Temu, Go ahead and search, and then this will open up that recent app for Temu. So your multitasking becomes more smoother, faster, and actually fun on your Samsung S25 Ultra. Tip number five is to add more apps to your Edge panel. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, if you're not using the Edge panel, you're missing out. So with the Home up, you can customize what appears in your Edge panel, so you can add more apps than what you're seeing here. And you can also turn on a feature, which basically shows you the most common apps you use regularly. So let me show you how to do this. So as you can see right now, it's showing you in a layout of two by seven. However, you can go ahead and show up more apps to it. So as you can see, I've got so many apps added to it. To access that, I need to go ahead and scroll down and access it. But then instead of doing that, I can turn on a feature. It basically shows me all those apps. So first, you're gonna go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you're gonna go ahead and open up the Home Up module. Now here, you wanna go ahead and scroll down, find the edge panel, turn this feature on. Now you've got three features here. So you can show more items, so turn this feature on. So more items will show up, as you can see. So when this is on, this is what it looks like. When it's off, this is what it looks like. Now the next feature is, you can scroll to your recent app areas. So go ahead and turn this feature on, and this will show you your recent apps. So these are all your recent apps here at the top. Now here at the bottom here, you can show the edge handle in immersive mode. So if you're on an app in full screen, you can go ahead and turn this feature on and you'll be able to see this edge handle. So you'll be able to access these apps on the edge. So you get quick access to what matters the most without going back to your home screen. Tip number six is where you can customize your share sheet to add favorite direct share. So do you hate scrolling through 20 different share options? Now you can set your favorite contacts and apps at the top of the share sheet for quick one-tap sharing. So here is an example. If you're trying to share something from your gallery, you can go ahead and add your favorite direct share right on this share sheet. So let me show you how to do this. So to do this, you wanna go ahead and open up the GoodLock app. Now in the GoodLock app, you're opening up the Home Up module. Now from here, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find Share Manager. Turn this feature on, and here you need to go ahead and find add favorite direct share tap on this and now here you can go ahead and choose from messages from gmail from drive from outlook from email from x or from whatsapp so you can go ahead and choose your favorite contacts so that they appear right at the top so as an example i've chosen two now i can go ahead and tap on share and those two will appear right at the top so this basically saves time and you share smarter. So your most used options are always in front and in the center. Tip number seven is where you can change the animation speed on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So do you want an instant snappy feel or maybe the opposite? You can reduce the animation speed or increase it to make your feel even more faster or slower, depending on what your mood is. So this tweak is subtle, but you'll definitely notice the difference. So let me show you how to do this. So currently, as you can see, the animation is quite quick. However, you can go ahead and change this. So you can go ahead and open up the Good Lock app, open up the Home Up module. Now go ahead and tap on Gesture Settings. And then you wanna go ahead and turn this feature on. And then where it says Home Gesture Animation Tuning, tap on this. 
turn this feature on, and now you can go ahead and choose from all of these settings. So if you want a more of a classic animation, go ahead and choose classic. So this is just your normal animation. If you want a sweet animation, so more like a very subtle, very slow animation, you can choose that as well. If you don't like any of these presets, you can go ahead and do your own tuning. So you can go ahead and choose the emotional state. So if you look at emotional, you see that it's more slow and subtle, or you can go ahead and choose the fast animation. Now, if you don't like any of those tuning methods, you can even choose advanced tuning and you can modify all the details of the animation by yourself. Tap on detail settings and you can go ahead and choose all the settings here. So this is basically gives you a better performance feel without changing any hardware. It's like turbocharging your phone for free or just giving it a nice effect on your home screen. Tip number eight is where you can loop your home screen pages on your S25 Ultra. So on your home screen, when you're swiping left all the way, and when you reach to the last page, you cannot swipe anymore. However, you can go ahead and turn on a feature where if you swipe again, you'll return back to the first page of your home screen. So with looping enabled, you can swipe right from the last page, which takes you right back to your first page. So no more dead ends, and it makes navigation feel smoother and more intuitive. So let me show you how to turn this feature on. So first you wanna go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you're opening up the Home Up module. Now from here, you want to go ahead and turn this feature on, then tap on Home Screen, and now find Loop Pages option, which is right here. Tap on this, and here you can go ahead and choose if you want to loop your Home Screen, and app screen or just the home screen. So since we're only doing the home screen, we'll go ahead and select home screen, tap apply, press home. Now, when you go ahead and swipe left, you'll return back to your first page when you reach to the last page. You can even do the opposite. So you can go left and this will basically loop all the pages. So this is for faster access, more fluid navigation and no more backtracking across pages. Tip number nine is where you can hide the bottom dock on your home screen. Do you want a super minimalistic look? If you do, then you can hide the dock bar at the bottom for a cleaner interface, especially useful when you're using gesture. So let me show you how to hide this bottom dock on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So first you wanna go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and open up the Home Up module, turn this feature on, then tap on Home Screen. Now from here, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find Hot Seat. So this is where your dock is. So currently, if you see the option to show favorites, it's turned on. However, if you want to remove the dock, go ahead and turn this feature off and then press home. Now your dock has been removed from your home screen. So this is for more screen space, less visual noise. It's perfect for a distraction-free home screen on your Samsung S25 Ultra. If you want that back, you can go ahead and open up the home up module and then turn on show favorites. And lastly, tip number 10 is where you can remove the app button from the dock bar. So you don't like where your app draw button is and unfortunately you cannot really move it. But don't worry, there is a small tweak which basically lets you move this app draw icon in onto your home screen so you can maybe hide it in one of the folders. So let me show you how to hide the app button from the dock bar on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So first you wanna go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you're opening up the Home Up module. Go ahead and tap on Home Screen. Now go ahead and scroll down and find this option here, Move Apps button. So you can freely move the Apps button to move to the Home Screen or Folders area in addition to the Favorite area. So turn this feature on, press Home. Now go ahead and try to move this App button. And I'll go ahead and move it in one of the folders. And this basically hides it. Now you can go ahead and add another button here. So this basically lets you tailor the interface around your habits, making the phone work for you, not the other way around. And that's it. Your Galaxy S25 Ultra is now running like a boss with some seriously smart customization. Let me know in the comment section which tip you love the most or if you got your own good luck tricks to share. If you found this helpful, then hit the like button. And if you're all about maximizing your Samsung experience, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I've got a ton more content coming your way. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.